Hey guys, for today's vlog, we're gonna be getting into the kitchen. Um, I'm shooting this video on a Sunday. Lately, I've been finding that I can use just an hour of my time to be really productive in the kitchen and it makes life so much easier for the rest of the week. These are just a few kind of make ahead recipes that are really, really basic and easy. They're healthy. In case you're just stumbling across this video, I have a five month old baby and I also uh, work from home doing my beauty broadcast videos and stuff. And Belle really doesn't nap a whole lot during the day right now so I really need to be able to gather something to eat very quickly and these few things have just been really great fixes not only for me but for Tyler as well so we're gonna do a quick make ahead egg and vegetable cup that can be frozen or you can just keep those in the fridge for yourself throughout the week also some protein snack balls and also not so much a real recipe but more of a strategy for salads for lunch and making sure I actually eat a salad. Um, if I just have simply a bag of lettuce and various salad ingredients, it doesn't tend to mean a whole lot for me unless I actually can get some things assembled in advance and then I've got something that I can easily grab for um, to go alongside my dinner or in most cases as a lunch. So to start out with these little egg and veggie cups, this was um, something I found through Pinterest. Actually the blog is averycooks.com so I'm um, giving her total credit for this recipe and just kind of showing you how I make them, but I will definitely link below to her real recipe for how to do these. I preheated the oven to 375 and I greased the muffin pan. I start out by just gathering up any vegetables that I might have on hand. For today I chopped up a pepper and I just love black olives, so I thought I'd throw those into the mix. I added in frozen peas and carrots that I just had combined in a bag from the store. I also used some frozen corn, but I just kind of combined all the vegetables I was using in a bowl and amounts didn't matter too much because I was going to use some more of these vegetables in my salads in a minute. So I spoon those into the muffin tins about three quarters of the way full. Then you've got your eggs and I like to add a little seasoning to those so I use some garlic powder, some cayenne pepper, some salt and regular black pepper and I just mix that up and pour it into each of the muffin tins so it's like just covering the vegetables. Then you go in with your cheese. Just a little sprinkling of, I use mild cheddar cheese on top of each of the little muffin compartments and then you're ready to go. And then I just bake those for about 20 minutes. You'll see them in the oven really puffing up big, um, but they do kind of come down after you take them out of the oven. And it's a good idea to put them on a wire rack, let them cool in the pan for about 10 minutes. Then I pop them out and just put them on their own on the cooling rack until they're nice and cooled off. And then I can pop them into whatever storage container I have and put them right in the fridge. On Avery's blog, she says these are about 100 calories each, makes a great breakfast. Two of these at a time, I think is really filling and if you're a ketchup person like ketchup with your eggs I do and I will sometimes just put a little ketchup on top but even as is they're kind of flavorful the vegetables still seem kind of fresh in there okay where was I <laughs> Somebody was getting a little upset and the camera ran out of battery, but I think I was about to talk about the salad so It's one thing to have everything that you need to make a salad on hand It's another thing to actually assemble the salad and if you're in a time crunch and you've got someone like this around Who is taking up a lot of time and energy and you know, that's great But there's not time to really go chopping up a bunch of stuff and doing all that business So if you can do it all at once, it's a great thing. So here's what I did for the salad one of the tips that I saw, like I said, through this website I found on Pinterest, um, you should dry off the lettuce that you put in there first. So that way, you know, as the wheat goes on, it's not getting soggy. It's still staying fresh. And I have already done this um, last week, and I can say the lettuce really stayed good. And I just made sure to dry it off with a paper towel. So you put that in each of your dishes, and then, you know, whatever mixture of vegetables you like. The drier these can be, the better as well. I use some leftover vegetables from the egg cups, and I added to that some more corn, some more peas and carrots, some more black olives as well. Sprinkled that over each of the five uh, salad bowls. And lastly, I just went on top of each one with a little bit of cheese. And then you've got a good basically base salad to go on um, for each day of the week. Before I eat them, that's when I add on some sort of protein. I'll throw on maybe some nuts or sunflower seeds, whatever you have. Hard boiled egg, um, some leftover chicken. That's the way I choose to do it 
it because I think then the flavors of your veggies stay really fresh and you can just pop that on as well as your dressing at the last minute pretty easily. And the website that I was looking at also had some tips for make ahead salads in mason jars. So if that interests you, I'll again make sure to link to the blog post below. And the third thing that we're going to make are these protein balls. And I'm scanning through my phone because this was actually a post on Facebook and it wasn't linking to a site, it was just the recipe in itself. It's a simple recipe in the comments, so I will repost that recipe below. Um, and this was for a single batch, what she posted, and I've doubled that. It makes a good amount. I know we'll be having some company later this week, so it'll be great to have on hand. So for the double batch, here's what I do. I do uh, two cups of quick oats. Um, then I add in two scoops of vanilla whey protein. So just use the scooper from the container there. I go ahead and mix those dry ingredients together. And I added in a half cup of honey and one full cup of natural peanut butter. And then you just mix that all together. And it's got this amazing like cookie dough type consistency and a great flavor to it just mm. as is. But isn't it fun to add in like chocolate chips or mini M&Ms or whatever you want? So I split my dough into two so I can have two different flavor things going on. I added caramel bits to one half and let me tell you, these little guys are incredible. They taste so good with the peanut butter. And then I put semi-sweet chocolate chips in with the other half and it's really no big deal to just roll those extra ingredients into the balls however much you want or you could skip that entirely, make them a little healthier. And once you've done that, they are good to go. They're a no-bake recipe. They stay great throughout an entire week. And I'm not exactly exactly sure what each one of those is calorie wise, but it's kind of cool because you know, as opposed to buying a granola bar or buying this or that, you do know exactly what you have put in there. I've just grabbed a couple at times for a quick breakfast. If you're going somewhere, put a couple in a Ziploc baggie and maybe it keeps you from having to stop at, you know, the gas station to buy something a little less healthy. So I really like having those on hand. So between the egg and vegetable cups, the salads that you're making ahead, and these little protein balls, I think you've got a few great things to go on for the week, you get a made an hour of the way on Sunday, and then you've made your life a whole lot easier throughout the rest of the week. And if you do have time to make up these things and cook for yourself, you know, right before every meal, that's great. But these just came from a place of need for me. I really was lacking on time and needed something quick and didn't want to feel like I was always reaching for something unhealthy. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Belle says bye, everybody. <laughs> See you later.